hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Sora Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional this is my youtube channel where I come and share the knowledge and experience which I have so today we are going to talk about a specific feature which has been released recently in Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operation in the credit and collection area so I'm going to talk about that feature. So if you see on my screen, we have got two features which are released in 10.0.35, which is one is the collections coordinator workspace. Another one is the collection coordinator summary and both the features are in credit and collection. And if you, if, if, if you observe one thing in Microsoft Dynamics 365, Microsoft is really focusing on automation and bringing the AI capability within the application. Before this, I have created one video on collection process automation, uh, which I will put in the description, which you can go and watch, right? And credit and collection is a very, 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 very painful area for the organization, which have the huge number of collection activities, right? So it is very difficult to manage those activities and Microsoft is improving day by day on those things. So this is the additional feature and I feel like this is going to really help the collection agents uh, in performing their day-to-day -day activities, quickly find out the information about the collections for, for any customer, okay? So let's see like how it is. So what I have done is I have enabled this uh, uh, feature. And now before we go and see that how this workspace look like, uh, uh, let's go and read about the official doc or what it says about this particular uh, workspace. So this is basically uh, talks about that you can log in as a collection agent. And if you are part of any collection pool, then the automatically based on that pool, your list of customers will be available for you to view the collection information. And what are the collection information you can see? Uh, you can see the open contracts which are available, right? open number of uh, uh, invoices which you have, uh, months as a customer, right? So credit limit, uh, credit remaining, account status, and also the aging which you can see based on the the aging definition which you have defined and apart from that you also have a very good uh, uh, timeline reflecting on the workspace which talks about what are the activities you have been performing with that customer so if you have posted any uh, invoice recently uh, if you have posted uh, any payments if you have created any collection activities the reminder the follow-up or the collection letter right so if you have done any such activity, it is going to reflect as a timeline on the workspace. And if you want to see the different contact details where you want to send the uh, uh, you want to send the collection letters or you want to send some reminder emails or you want to send uh, a customer statement, right? So all those things uh, uh, can be done based on the contact details which are available on this workspace, okay? Now, apart from this, there is one more uh, uh, one more feature which has been released is the collection coordinator summary. Now, I unfortunately, I won't be able to demonstrate uh, this to you because this requires me to connect with the Dataverse and the Power Platform admin. And the good thing about this feature is that this is based on the Copilot uh, AI driven uh, dashboards and the information. So I won't be able to show this uh, feature, but yeah, this is another one uh, which we can uh, check it out, okay? So now let's go and uh, look around this feature, the workspace, and it is in the preview stage right now. So it has not been generally uh, released right now. So uh, you, can, you can enable this and test it out in your test environment uh, uh, in your organization. So let's let's move into the Microsoft Dynamics 365 and let's see that what this uh, workspace does. So what I have to do is that I'll go to the the credit and collection module and if you go and see the workspaces you already had this customer credit and collection uh, workspace which is really really helpful. Okay, this gives you a lot of good information 
okay this was already a very good workspace and i have observed that a lot of people do not use this workspace and i would strongly recommend that we should start using this because it's just an information and the the dashboards which can help you out in figuring out a lot of collection related information right and on top of that you have also got the analytics uh, uh, option available which shows your out of the box power bi embedded dashboards which you have in microsoft dynamics 365 i think i have not enabled or i have not refreshed the entity store in this but you can enable and then you can have a quick view about all these workspaces uh, in your environment so what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to check the new workspace which we have so let me click on this new workspace and let's let's see how it gives so this is the workspace which i have now i am not part of any collection pool but if you are using any collection pool then based on that your collection pool will be populated but let's say if i want to check for any customer so i can just see in the drop down if i am part of collection pool it will just just display the list of customers which are enabled for that pool uh, but if not then it is going to show me all the customers now quickly let's select one of the customer here and see that what it gives us so if you see that the moment i select this uh, customer right it gives me the 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 overview about my aging definition if i want i can change my aging definition and view this information on a graphical form uh, I can see in a different currencies which I want to see. I have how many open contracts are there. So this is basically from the project accounting module. If I have that, uh, the credit limit, uh, how how much is the credit limit uh, meaning? How many three open invoices are there? Uh, month says customer, right? So account status is open. So let's say if you have put the account status on hold uh, due to like maybe let's say you have sent the last collection letter. So you had a condition of putting the customer on hold right so that will be available you can see all the customer details available here uh, you can see the open transactions for the uh, customer that if if there are open transactions so these transactions will be uh, available here and the beautiful thing is about is this the collection status so if you are maintaining your collection activities properly right so you can just see that what are the different collection status are then and if you want to change the status like okay this is promised to pay broken or let's say this is not disputed now if you want to uh if you want to change any status here so the kind of ac collection activities which you go and perform on the east balance or the on the customer right so you can just perform here and then change the status if you want to write off anything if you want to settle these transactions or you want to see the collection history right so all those activities you can do from the single screen as a collection agent so earlier we had a workspace the other workspace which i was showing you was kind of a collection manager workspace but this is purely you can say it's a it's a collection uh, agent workspace where on a day-to-day -day basis that collection agent can perform their own activity now apart from this what you have also got on the right hand side is is the collection timeline so it shows you the all the list of activities which you have been performing on this customer so if you see it has received a payment on this date again payment there was an invoice posted there was an action task created and today i have created one action on this if you see 28 8 uh, i have created one action like if you want i can just let's say if i go to the another tab and let's say quickly if i uh, if I want to create some activity here, so let's say uh, I want to create a new action. So let's say it's an email type and the uh, let's say test test for workspace. Let's say if I put it uh, and then I can just select the date and time and then create an action. And now if I go here and just try to refresh this, you see like the another task has been created here if i go and take my cursor here right so it is going to show me the all all other details about these task and the action so and if i want i can just take my cursor and then click on this hyperlink and go to that task and take the required action so so in this way this is going this is going to really help a collection isn't in managing day-to-day -day activities so 
making the day more productive uh, uh, reducing the navigation on different places uh, not looking for information in multiple reports and other things so it is going to really make the uh, collection isn't work efficient and if on top of that if we start using this collection coordinator summary thing right it is uh, enabled based on the co-pilot and what it is going to do is that it is going to generate the ai driven uh, reminder emails to your customers based on your overdue transactions and the parameters which you define in the system right so overall this is a really good feature and i think we should start using it and uh, take the advantage of this so that's it for uh, today's video i hope you uh, enjoy my content and if you do i uh, request you to like share and subscribe okay so that's concludes today's video and i look forward to seeing you all in the next one and thank you for watching and take care